Hey, Morning Mana crew. My name is Anna Wiggins. I'm the site director over at the Executive Place site in Fayetteville, North Carolina. And I wanna welcome you to day two of our second week of prayer and fasting. This week, our time together and our prayer points are focused on the principle that devotion to Christ is the place where the human heart is most satisfied. We were created by God and for God. We were made to be in a relationship with him, to honor him, to devote our lives to him, to worship him and to have him as the center. If you've been through leadership, that sounds really familiar. You know, yesterday we talked about the great commandment found in Mark 12 verse 30. And its first mention in the Bible is in Deuteronomy 6, 5. As a reminder, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. Devoting our lives to Christ means deliberately choosing to act in ways that honor Him in everything that we think, everything that we do, and everything that we say. Jesus said in John 14, 15, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments. Now, God doesn't love us because we obey Him. We don't earn His love. We honor His love. We love Him in response to His love for us. First John 4.19 says, We love because He first loved us. And then First John 5.3 says, For this is the love of God, that we keep His commandments. There's no way around it. To love God is to obey God. And we probably already know that, but maybe you feel like the Apostle Paul when he wrote Romans 7, 15, for I do not understand my actions, for I do what I don't want to, but I do the very thing that I hate. Maybe you've tried to honor him. You know you need to stop certain things. You feel a tug on your heart to begin certain things, but you haven't yet. And I wanna encourage you, take heart. Romans 8, 1 tells us there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And I wanna encourage you today that there is hope and help to walk in complete obedience to the Lord. Let's revisit John chapter 14, verse 15, and keep going through 17. It says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. But then Jesus continues and he says, and I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper. That's the Holy Spirit. He'll be with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him, you know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. The Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, third person of the Trinity, we'll talk more about him next week with Pastor Ben. It's the Holy Spirit that dwelling inside of you who is your helper, the one who will enable you to turn from sin, to break off generational patterns and curses, to walk in forgiveness, to repent of sin, and to walk in obedience to God in every way. Second Peter 1, 3 says, His divine power has granted to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who has called us according to his glory and excellence. Let's focus on this as our prayer point today. Lord, teach my heart to trust that everything I need for life and godliness comes through my relationship with you. I'll see you again tomorrow.